Hey guys, so if you've been following me on Instagram, you may notice that we've been in Tahoe almost every weekend since the beginning of December. And I'm gonna do a video to show you guys how we fit three dogs, one baby, two adults into my Subaru Forester Sport. Okay, so this is our even flow pivot explorer. This is our wagon that we bring with us whenever we travel. We use it in place of a stroller. So Eli can sit kind of right here and then we dump whatever junk we have with us there as well. And it comes with a nice basket where I can put the diaper bag and anything else. And this is actually the wagon that we bring with us when we go up to the mountain when we snowboard. Um, it really just carries all our stuff and sometimes we even stack the snowboards on it. So this is a must for whenever we go traveling. And I also want to point out that the wheels, they're pretty, they're pretty freaking durable because we bring this across dirt, gravel, snow, and it holds up pretty well and we can push it across anything pretty much. So lately when we've been going up to Tahoe, we've been snowshoe hiking. Um, mine is the retro spec one. You can get that directly from their site. And Brian's is the Alp Trek one. You can get that from Costco. Um, super helpful when we're hiking in the snow. We don't sink and struggle all the way up the peak. Um, but this is just what we've been using for our walks and our hikes in the snow. All right, here's some other stuff that we bring. This is Brian's bag here. This is mine and Eli's bag. And then we have the pack and play, which is super important. And this is basically Eli's travel crib. Um, it breaks down and it pops up super easily. And we also kind of use it as like a means to contain him sometimes when we're just around the wherever we're staying. Um, it keeps him in one place, so that's good for us. <laughs> All right, this is Brian's dog backpack that he brings with us whenever we go hiking or when we pull off to the side of the road and let the dogs kind of play around in the snow. Um, he carries things like the ball launcher, water, uh, dog poop bags, a bowl, a water bowl for them, and he outfitted this uh, ball with a rope at the end so when we throw it in the snow, we can kind of track it. So we bring this with us as well. You can't really see it, but this is a travel kennel for Zeus. Um, when we travel and we leave the dogs behind wherever we are, we like to put Zeus away because he can get into trouble sometimes. So this one um, kind of holds him until we get back. You can't see it here, obviously, but this is another thing that we bring. So you may be wondering why we are bringing blue tape because Eli is a toddler now, so he likes to touch anything and everything. So we put this over the outlets wherever we are. So there's that. Here are some other things that we do bring with us. This is the diaper bag with all things, you know, baby related for Eli. Um, this I like to call Eli's junk bag where we put everything else that we need for the trip, like his diapers, toys, his sleep sack, jackets, snow gear. Oh, this is really important. So this is our pack and play cover. Um, so what it does is it kind of darkens the Graco pack and play so Eli can sleep well and we combine this with his white noise and he, yes babe, <laughs> he will literally sleep anywhere. So the combination of the pack and play, the pack and play darkener and the white noise is super, super important when we travel because Eli's sleep is very important and this gets the job done. Okay, and this is our dog bag. So this is where I keep Bane, Zeus, and Koga's uh, food, um, poop bags, um, leashes, sometimes, let's see. Um, what else do I have in here? Oh, um, Koga's meds, Eli's vitamins for some reason. Um, I'll pack even more diapers in here. On the left side, we have like nice little compartments for their food. I'll put Eli's um, toddler formula here with some oatmeal and just other random other baby stuff here too. All right, so this is the process. The wagon is strapped in, more drunk on the floor. Luckily for us, we're not snowboarding this time around, so there's more room in the bullet. But typically what we'll do is we'll put our snowboards in there, our boots, snow gear, all that stuff. So there might even be a little more room in our car this time. 
So what we also like to do is put a towel over here because Koga likes to stick his head through here and then he gets car sick sometimes so he will just yak everywhere. So this is there to protect that. And then here we have Eli's booster seat. Um, we actually bring it almost everywhere with us here but it's pretty important that we bring it wherever we go traveling to so he has his own little booster. Um, yeah. Okay, here we have the finished product. The dogs are in the back. Oh my gosh, there's still quite a bit of junk in here. But Eli is all settled in with his formula. Dogs in the back. Oh, hey, Koga. All the rest of the crud and the bullet. Brian and the driver, and then I'm gonna get in. Woo! Whoop! All right, the car is all packed, and here we go. Yep. Hey, Koga. And the bullet. <laughs> <laughs> 